Welcome. I'm here with CMP and Fleet Beldo to talk about the recent changes to the Meritorious Investment Program, or MAP, that just came out in an app admin. So, CMP, what is the message that you want to give out to sailors about these recent changes? Yeah, I think the recent changes are all come from feedback we've gotten from Fleet, uh, from Fleet commanders, COs, uh, mass chiefs, and uh, and sailors, frankly, on all, our all-hands calls and through working groups we've done since last fall. So everything you're going to see is really coming from feedback from the fleet. All right. So Fleet, what was the reason why the MAP program was expanded to include Sailors on Shore Command and uh, PAC Sailors? What was the reason behind that uh, decision? Well, I think that we would all agree that we have some outstanding sailors um, serving in some shore-centric ratings, for example, our Cyber Force and our Master at Arms. And why should they not get the same opportunity? Because they are doing the hard work also like our sailors at sea. So we open it up. And the same thing goes to some PAC sailors. They've been um, designated in certain ratings, so why should they not get an opportunity to be mapped? And if the commanding officer feels that they deserve it, that's what we're trying to do is give that commanding officer the opportunity to recognize those great sailors. All right, all right, all right. So sir, there's questions for you. Um, how does MAP um, impact advancement? Well, it doesn't in, uh, impact it at all, and, and it's a common misperception out there by sailors. Uh, even when, even with the opening of additional shore duty quotas for MAP this year on this cycle, still over 90 percent of all of our uh, advancements will be done through the advancement exam. So it's less than 10 percent. Uh, it's not an insignificant number; it's an important number, but, but uh, frankly, it's not going to impact it at all. Uh, we did learn some lessons though from the last cycle that we mapped some sailors into ratings that were already pretty well manned, uh, but we decided to do that purposefully so that we didn't restrict any COs and we could understand where those maps were being used by rate. And now we're going to make some adjustments this cycle by restricting some of the quotas in rates that have uh, gotten overmanned over the last couple cycles. And you'll see that in, this, uh, in the NAV admin as it's released. So fleet, the majority of quotas are now for sailors who are at sea duty. Do you see that changing over time to add more shore uh, quotas for sailors on, on shore duty? Well, I think um, nothing is impossible. And every cycle, we um, set up this working group, and we're going to continue to um, look at um, what we have achieved by opening up MAP to um, shore duty this time. There's always, always a, um, a possibility. So, but I think as we continue to look at self-assess, um, look at retention, look at um, um, the advancements, look at the um, um, health of those communities, and it's not closed. I would not say that we're closed to opening up anymore um, of the rates. We're gonna, every year, we'll do more, a little bit more and a little bit more. Okay. All right. So, looking at the heartbeat of a map in the future, where do you see it going on throughout the year, years later? Yeah, I think uh, just like Fleet said, we're going to assess every time we do it and see if the impacts on retention. And ultimately, uh, all of our advancement policies are, are aimed at retaining the best quality folks we can retain. So if the impact of these additional quotas and MAP turn into better retention of our force with high quality sailors, then we should expand that program. Uh, where does it end? I don't know. Uh, you know, you might want to stay tuned and see what happens next, the next several cycles and see what happens. But uh, I'm encouraged by what I see, uh, what we saw from the first advancement cycle with MAP. Mm -hmm. And uh, this next cycle will uh, probably, we'll learn a little bit more. So uh, it's, it's a, an exciting time for advancement opportunity. Mm -hmm. right. Well, CMP, Fleet, thank you for being here and thank answering you. the questions. And thank you all for watching. And be sure to check out our story which will detail the latest on the map changes and have the nav admin included. Thank you.